if you're not happy with the way you position your best well like i did as you can see here where i didn't take into consideration that uh, well the size of the base will actually avoid the water and it causes so many issues first it's not usable by the pals they can do anything with it second i've even included so many resources which is a must there are different resources which you need to overlap when you position your base so your pals can automate gathering resources for you and you don't need to do this by yourself second it can cause many issues sometimes i need to save them when they get into the water because their pathing is just crazy and it's a mess and they just died there starvation i need to come back and replace them it causes many many issues now of course this is part my fault of course the way i position it but also some things related to for example uh, pearls not being able to get out of the water things should be optimized furthermore in the game hopefully this will come later on keep in mind there are items as you can see that are not placeable outside uh, of the base those will actually get destroyed the thing is that it was less punishing than i thought it will be the thing is once you do that you'll be able because you get resources back of things that are destroyed you'll be able to assemble things pretty fast uh, after that uh, so again overall it wasn't as punishing as i thought it would be However, one assembly line was actually gone and the beds were gone, the eggs incubator was gone, and the breeding uh, farm was gone. Anyway, it's a personal decision, but keep in mind that if you're not taking advantage, for example, of the resources around you, uh, it's a waste because this should be automated. Uh, this is why the pearls are for, not just for crafting things when you ask them to. But gathering resources as well and again resources come and go and if they're doing it automatically uh, this is the best thing if you're not taking advantage of it when you're placing your base you're wasting a lot a lot of valuable time your time so this is the moment i decided to just disassemble the pal box So the one I started the assembly line gone, not all of them, by the way, I think the two ones that actually stayed, the two ones weren't destroyed. Of course, make sure you have resistor to build it again. I already calculated where I want it to be. Uh, so I place it so it can actually get both the trees and the, the stones uh, and the ore, everything. The thing is that I really like this place. That's the reason I built it in the first place. Because I come here, spend time here. I want to enjoy it. So I, I find something with nice view. But resources are the main thing. So keep an eye for that when you are placing your pal box. Keep in mind that later on when you upgrade your base. Uh, even if you destroy base. It's still the level maintained. And if you get to level 10. You'll be able to build a second base. I think in the 15 I think or a bit later. There's going to be a third base. But basically you want to save this for other locations that are risk here but you know you can gather and automate resources that you don't actually have in the uh, starting areas now another important thing to note is that i read online that people said that if you leave it like that without actually uh, having a base uh, uh, circulating everything eventually items would get destroyed totally somebody mentioned in one of the website that he only left with a chair so you don't have time to do this that's why you need to kind of plan ahead and make sure that if you already know where to put it you don't waste time and just immediately place it in the place where you already know it's going to be the best for you here you can see i already planned it this kind of encompasses thing very nicely all the trees and the edges there uh, of the cliff and the, the water i also made sure that all the boxes there still are there so i will need to remove everything because there's so many items they've tried to remove it's not a lot of things to do but when time is an essence it's important another important thing immediately put pals that can carry items and this is the one with the item with the box i was actually searching the ones that have higher ones so they will focus on quickly moving items into storage items this is also important to make sure you have storage uh boxes or other things that you can store items so they will transfer those all the resources they're actually caused by demolishing everything back to the storage in other words prioritize resource gathering than everything anything else all right if you have one that has just resource uh, gathering uh, higher one use it again it's going to be very very quick 
I'm going to show you how they do this immediately. Before that, I want to show that I put uh, uh, boxes. By the way, keep in mind you need space uh, for, especially for the production li lines. Um, so make sure to put just on the side if, so it won't interfere. But you're going to need place where they can reach. And uh, again, I'm going to make a uh, reorder things. You see, I'm kind of lazy, but uh, I'm going to arrange everything again. But you can just make sure that they have space. So you see lots of things there in the corner. I'm full, so always store quickly. It's very easy uh, eventually to just, you know, move things from one place to the other. You see this one? It's just gathering. And we see that the moment they have space and the pathing works well, and the moment you build places to store things, they'll eventually just uh, start working basically as they should and uh, carry things over uh, both the resources that were actually uh, uh, created. You see, all the trees there are gone. I didn't touch them. They did everything automatically. Uh, and all the resources that are left, they just clean up eventually everything. Uh, and yeah, basically working for you. So again, if you are stuck in something that you don't like, don't be afraid. Just pre-calculate it and make sure you make the change fast. Don't wait. The other thing is, don't worry about the pelts. They'll be back in the box. But you, again, you need to quickly activate it, put the pelt box, and put them back again. Right? They won't get destroyed. Don't worry about that. Keep this in mind. So, uh, so... And then if you see somebody stuck not doing this thing, kind of bug, replace them, all right? And once everything there, you can create things again. Uh, uh, and again, it's better to have things automated than not having the resources inside the compound of the base and just doing things yourself. Again, overall, if you play this game a lot, it will save you a lot, a lot of time. Remember this, of course, for the second base that you are doing. And that's about it. It's not that punishing, it's just you need to know there are disadvantages. You might lose some structures that you need to rebuild again. You need to rearrange things. But overall, for some of you, it might be worth it. Again, thanks for watching, everybody. Tell me how it went for you. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.